Hey guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to show you how to confirm production order in SAP. To do that, you need the production order. So I am in my production order. You know, to display the production order, T code is 003. So I am in that 003. This is my production order. This is 6300 is my production order. To do the confirmation, you need the production order which is in RVL status. It means release, state, release status. If this production order is in created mode or deleted mode, you can't do the confirmation, right? So in this production order, my uh, status is RVL. I have operations and I have components. So I'm going to do the confirmation. Uh, to do the confirmation, the T code is CO11N. I'm in that transaction. Anyway, I go again to show you CO11N. Right? Don't get confused. This is the confirmation T code for discrete manufacture. Right? To confirm the production orders. If you confirm the process orders, you have a different transaction. Right? Okay, here you give your order number, and if you press enter, all the relevant details will fill automatically. See, yield is uh, 100 pieces. Yeah. Okay, so you can uh, select the confirmation type here. If you do the final confirmation, that's it. Partial confirmation, you can uh, select this one. Okay, these activity types propose from the routing. So here, if you need to change, you can change it, right? Actual can be different. So here the plan is three, but I say my actual is five, likewise. Okay. Then uh, here you can enter the scrap quantities or even quantities, reason for variances. So there are a lot of fields in this confirmation, but some companies they only use only few fields, right? And here. You can give the actual start execution of this order. Let's say it's today. So I say it's start from 8 a.m. and it finishes from let's say 9. Okay. Then here, according to this, uh, okay, I had to change this one, right? I change the uh, start execution is seven. Uh, seven. Uh, start time is eight. My finish time is let's say seven hours. No? Eight uh, into four, fifteen. Let's say fifteen or something. Okay. Now to good moments. So don't worry about this error because I released the production order today, but my start date is earlier. So system give the uh, error message, a warning message, right? Here, the first slide, if you can see the movement type is 101. So this is the, this is your finish code, right? So you can here select your storage location that your finish could need to be appear in SAP. Let's say it's 0030 and these are the uh, raw materials that you're going to consume to do this production order confirmation, right? So here the storage location is automatically filled because I have selected it in production order. Okay. If, but here you can change it. So I'm going to select the batch here because my materials are batch activated materials so I have from this batch 292 that's enough okay and from this batch 60 is there I will reduce these quantities to 30 and from this batch 500 is there okay that's okay then I press save okay this is how you do the confirmation in discrete manufacturing or production order.
in background it will calculate the all the cost if there is any error then it will give the error message